As the Sentinels prepare to deploy to the next battle, Riven and Diana take you aside. They look serious. Rookie, we need to talk. It's about your, how do I say this, fighting. It's bad. Okay, so I'm not incredible. What do you suggest? Good, you seek improvement. That's all I need to hear. You might be hearing what you want to hear, but go off. Our battles will only get harder. You need discipline and training to survive. Things neither of us have time for, but we do know a little about turning your pain into power. There is much we have lost, Rookie. Life is long, but its cruelties extend to us all. Touch us in different ways. When you focus in a fight, you can draw from that experience. Steal yourself, in a way. It's not the prettiest kind of fighting. You're not going to be called the Dancing Blade or anything. But to our enemies, and sometimes to yourself, you will be merciless. You train with Diana and Riven for hours, trading blow after blow. There is a grim determination on their faces you had not noticed before. Whatever their pasts are, they grant an unbreakable will. You earn the Tormented Fighter upgrade. Huh? Somewhat discouraged, you and the Sentinels follow Viego's trail to Piltover. So this is Piltover, huh? The City of Progress. Thought it'd have more, I don't know, contraptions and flying doodads? And I thought it'd be more ruined. Where's the heroine? You look around to see the Black Mist is indeed nowhere to be found. Oh, that's in Zaun, isn't it? Huh, maybe King Creep hasn't found his way here yet. You saw the World Stone map at headquarters. Looks like the Black Mist had overtaken the whole continent. It should be here. Why don't we ask that grimy ne'er do well with a cigar? Oh, Mr. Nasty Bad Habits! You talking to me, kid? We were wondering if you've seen any signs of a harrowing in the city. You know, Black Mist, people acting funny, pale green ghost king with a giant sword. Sounds like you're talking about Bilgewater. That whole damn place is swimming with heroin. Gotten so a fella can't pull a heist no more with all the ghouls and black mist and whatnot. I came here to get away from that stuff. These fancy pants Piltovans got these Hextech contraptions that blow all the mist away. It's the damnedest. Here, I can vacation in peace. Oh, you're here on vacation? You must let me stitch you a swimming snoot. You simply cannot go to a public beach wearing that. You touch my duds and we'll have us a problem, little lady. I don't need no swimming hole to enjoy my time off. My va my vacation is gonna my vacation is going to rich places with lots of money and robbing the crap out of them. I don't need nothing but rich folks and old destiny here. Graves proudly pats the stock of his scattergun. Ha! He sails halfway around the world to pillage. Sounds like some of old house ancestors. Now if you'll excuse me, I'm not a fan of the bank job, though. Graves starts to roll and comes face to face with a snarling sight. A river of black mist comes pouring around the corner, heading straight for Graves and the Sentinels. Aw, oh, hells. That's what I was gonna say. Guess them fancy mist-stopping machines must have broke. The Sentinels and Graves run for cover as the Black Mist comes roaring by, feel filling the street with its vile presence. Well, this sure puts a damper on my vacation plans. It's looking for another fetter. We need to find it first. Come on. The Sentinels follow the Mist's path through the streets of Piltover, with Graves following closely behind. You arrive at the window of a small curio shop, the mist presses against the glass of the store, seeking entry, but not smart enough to open the door. Seems like the fetter must be in the shop. An antique parasol on the window display begins to glow with magic. The light in Senna's chest flickers in response. There it is, that parasol. Hell, you say that's a fetter? One of many, he wants to collect them all to revive his dead wife. Interesting. Mighty interesting. Seems to me there's an awful lot of demand for this thing. And high demand means high coin. 
I'll be seeing you rudes later. Oh, leaving already? But you've scarcely begun your vacation. Graves pulls a canister from his belt and throws it to the ground. It quickly fills the street with thick gray smoke. Though you can't see your hand in front of your face, you hear the sound of glass shattering. What the hell's going on? I can't see. Gradually, the smoke dissipates. Where is it? The fetter! He stole the fetter! Why, that low-down snake in the grass, what's he gonna do with a piece of some dead woman's soul? Give it back to us after we catch up to him and beat him to a pulp. How are we supposed to find him? We, know, we don't even know which way he went. No, but the mist does. The black mist begins to change course, searching for the missing fetter. Like a bloodhound, it picks up Graves' trail and follows him down the street. Uh-huh. Let's get after that soul-stealing bandit. <laughs>